so good morning students now today's lecture is on introduction of plant physiology whenever we talk about the plant physiology we used to remember the formation of food fodder fuel fiber shelter clothing medicines and even oxygen required for human beings animals and microorganism is the result of plant physiology there may be one question in your mind what is mean by plant physiology or what is the definition of plant physiology the study of various functions performed by the plant is the definition of plant physiology so here what type of functions are going on for example seed germination growth and development photosynthesis respiration photorespiration photoperiodism vernalization ripening of fruits senescence and death of the plant so all these are the vital processes or the various functions performed by the plants so remember well importance of plant physiology in which field the plant physiology is very important remember well as every plant when it absorb water from the soil it take carbon dioxide and it take sunlight and it release oxygen as a result of which or this entire process is called as photosynthesis so here how it takes place so it use solar energy water and nutrients grow and develop itself it responds to the environment then formation of flowers formation of fruits formation of seeds so all these processes are going on within the plants now the second aspect in this chapter that is history of plant physiology so important discoveries we'll discuss now so the first very important discovery as per as plant physiology is concerned so which takes place from 1580 to 1644 so this is the period of john van helmont so what he says he says that for normal growth and development of a plant water is must so this is his statement so now afterwards joseph priestley in the year 1733 to 1804 he mentioned the leaves in presence of light and carbon dioxide it release oxygen so nicolas d saucer from 1767 to 1845 water was involved in the process of photosynthesis so this is the statement or this is the result of the research done by nicolas d saucer then julius sack from 1832 to 1897 nitrogen phosphorus potassium sulfur and other elements are required for plant growth then afterwards in the year 1932 robert emerson and william arnold they mention chlorophyll molecules are required in energy conversion of sunlight into chemicals so 2500 chlorophyll molecules required to form one oxygen in photosynthesis so these are some important inventions in addition to this in addition to these uh, inventions in the year 1937 robert hill so this is one of the milestone in the field of photosynthesis or in the field of uh, plant physiology so light reaction of photosynthesis during which oxygen evolved in photosynthesis comes from photolysis of water not from the carbon dioxide so this is the statement uh, proposed by robert hill in 1937 so carl darwin in the year 1800 found highest concentration of oxygen in tips of the plumes afterwards yabuta and sumiki in the year 1938 isolated gibberellins from the fungus gibberella fusicorae in addition to this skug miller and strong in the year 1938 they discovered cytokinin in coconut milk so these are some important discoveries in plant physiology we always remember when we talk about the important inventions in plant physiology so now what is the scope and application of plant physiology remember well this plant physiology is directly it is having relevance with so many sub disciplines of uh, plant sciences 
So this particular plant physiology is important in the biophysics. So this particular plant physiology is used in biotechnology, agriculture, fodder technology, then plant physiology, pathophysiology, horticulture, stress physiology, pharmacognosy, horticulture, floriculture, space science, tissue culture, medicine, poly house or greenhouse, food technology, crop physiology and chemotechnology. So in addition to this, this knowledge of plant physiology is used in transgenic plants, genetic engineering, phytochemistry, fuel technology, biofertilizers, seed technology, biosynthesis, biological control, biomass technology, plant harvest technology. So here these are some disciplines where we can take help of plant physiology. So today we have discussed introduction to plant physiology.